What's up everybody, my name's Lucas, and welcome back to my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. So in the last part we got Morden, so let's go over here and talk to him, see what he's got to say. How can I help? How you doing, man? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with the budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. <laughs> you said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research are you doing? Not simple research. Several recon missions. Covert. High Sorry about that. Served under young captain named Kirihi. My chair is Krogan very Genepage, creaky. Took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. He I did, he yeah. destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. That's pretty cool. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. <laughs> Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. None taken. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Uh -huh. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Very good. What do we got here? Weapon upgrades. Might as well. Shield piercing. Use a single bonus power. Cool. I forgot about this. Okay, so what do I want? <clears throat> so it's good against armor. Organics, organics. Armor. Already got slam. Huh. Let's get this warp ammo. I'm gonna just keep doing this, apparently. Let's get warp ammo. Um, this fortification. Okay, I completely forgot about that. It's kind of really good. <laughs> so you can just get new powers like that. What's up, Jacob? With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. You're damn right we are. Keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we had something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. Okay. I have nothing against gay people, but I do know that Jacob is gay. And I don't want to have to deal with that, so I'm going to avoid the talking about his how in shape he is. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. 
Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy, and they still dumped you. We'll rub it in their faces when we save their hides again. Sounds good. Add that to the list of reasons to make it out alive. Besides not wanting to die. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. Yep. Alright. Let's go... Let's talk to Garrus and uh, Miranda real quick. Ask Garrus what he's been up to the past few years. Yeah, I like how this game works. You kind of go back. I think pretty much after every big mission, after every crew member you get, you can talk to your crew members, and they will have new things to say. You can talk to them about more things. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Yep. Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. <laughs> Literally. I assume that Cerberus approved of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included, but unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying Tell it. Tell me about your parents. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. Oh, I got this. Who you are. That's the difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's Ironic. how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. I'll take you up on that. Did you hear it? Another colony went Oh yeah, I got you some stuff, buddy. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. It's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. <laughs> anyway, thanks again. You really came through. My pleasure. I think we got the wine for Dr. Chalkwas, didn't we? How may I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. Only thing missing. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I'll I... keep an eye oh, out, Oh, you bro. needn't. I guess I didn't get Commander. that. Commander. I could have swore I did. Oh well. 
Where's Garrus? Is he down here, maybe? Or is this where... I think Tally's down here. Whenever she joins. Oh no, hey. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Oh, you're just doing this stuff. You know, might as well get another. Just have all the points Check. we can. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate. Well, they were killing them, so I doubt it. Me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also Damn. cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. <laughs> I love how, like, for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Threatening Garrus sounds, but at the same time he he's like just speaking in like in kind of a normal voice. But at the same time, like he's like being very threatening. All right, let's head up to our cabin and feed the fishies. And then we'll head over. I don't know who we're gonna head over to next. I think either Jack or the Krogan is next. Here you go, buddies. Some fish. Space hamster. What's up, buddy? Alright. Actually, let's check our terminal. Um, situation on Loric. Okay. Oh yeah, that's really cool. She, that guy was from the um, first game. Like he was very early on in the first game. Yeah, his wife had died on a planet, and um, I basically had like put in a word to get her body back for him so that she, he could bury her. That's really cool. Emily Wong. That's the kid we talked about going on the thing. Take care of Garrus.
Alright, so we can go check out the planet. Lork. We'll go see what, what else we got, what other options we have. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Literally just check to kill you. Alright, see you later, Omega. Oh, whoops. So the convicts, Krogan. Let's go get Jack. So I think it's a little shorter of a area. Prison ship purgatory. You know, I gotta give it to, <laughs> like, it's a, it's a good idea to have a maximum security prison just in space, like, on a space station. Like, where are you gonna, if you escape, where are you gonna go? You gotta, I guess, try to get lucky and try to steal a ship, but, who knows. Um, let's take Morden and Garrus, have our two newer crewmates with us. Warden. You don't know, Jack is quite a handful. She's I guess Jack is a she, but you'll you'll see. So Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. <laughs> Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We'll see about that. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. <laughs> the ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world like they're them them back? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their <laughs> help. Yep. So we'll be forced to release him back onto his home. Yeah, saw that coming. At an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous. 
We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. Gotcha. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. That wasn't sketchy. for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. Scott. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere <laughs> with you. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. I should go. Wish I could go. I wonder what the body count of the prisoners here is. I hear the screaming in my head. <laughs> Night. Yeah. Okay. Now processing through the door on the far side of the room. Look at all this convenient cover. It's a waist high cover. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Go to hell. I'll send you there myself. Activate systems. I like that Reva ability, it's kinda like a uh whatchamacallit? A vampire move I can get help from. Him. Guys, I literally took out the Reapers and was a Reaper only single handedly. And you're gonna try to fuck with me. Not the best idea. Did I. I guess I got rid of. My slam on accident. That sucks. Guess I should have read that more. Guess you, you can only have a certain amount of abilities. Buddy, I know you work here, but like you're a technician. Why are you trying to Shepherd, if you hack that control, fight the specter? on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. 
We can't just search for Jack and get her up. We have to get down there. Yeah, as you can see, Jack is a very powerful biotic. This might be useful. All guards, restore order. Lethal force authorized, but don't kill Jack. Cats, lockdown, lockdown. Sector seven, nine, and eleven have lost life support. No survivors. That's not good. Formed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. Lockdown in blocks four, seven, and eight. Oh. The hull has been breached in sectors 12, 14, and 30. No survivors. Harris, defend yourself, buddy.
Fuck. Run. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Wasn't too far from where we were, but... So mad if that would have killed me. It's a tough room, jeez. All guards, cell block one. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. You're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. Rex. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. It's only look at it. Dude. <sighs> so fucking worried about Mortar and Garrus dumbasses down there hiding on the wrong side of cover. What's even happening here?
That was a terrible idea. My name is Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue what you. What the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them, for them, I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? <laughs> this ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not gonna attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I wanna look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. All right. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. I'm sure they have everything they need to know about you if they knew that you were here and how to get you out. Another crew member under our belt. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. <laughs> Keep your people off me. It's better that way. Oh, don't give me the cold shoulder, Miranda. Alrighty, I think that is a good place to call this part. Uh, I guess in the next part, we'll either go get the Krogan, or... Which, Ashley didn't kill Rex, I think would be Rex. I think that's the thing. He somehow survives. But he didn't, so that sucks. But anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, well, uh, do at least one of those. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.